Robin and Sarah, it is an honor for me to stand up here today, and I'm so happy for both of you. I just want to welcome all of you to this event. So Sarah and I grew up together. Uh, we were in the same church, some, the same Sunday school class. We participated in all of the same church events like competition and youth retreats. But Sarah and I only really became friends when she moved into our district, into my school district. There was never a time in my life that Sarah never called me before a big exam, that Sarah wasn't there whether I was leading an event or I was speaking at something, she was either in the front row or she was praying behind the scenes. Robin and I actually grew up together. We live across the street from each other. Then we went to high school where I just kind of copied a lot of the stuff he did. Um, and then he went to college, uh, Brooklyn College, and I followed him right there. And not only did I follow him, but I also lived with him for four years. And he didn't manage to kill me in those four years. And in fact, our relationship grew and became much, much stronger. Robin, I, I know I've told you this before, but I'll tell you every single time I see you, you have a literal gem. It is truly a sweet gift to get to do life with someone who will love, encourage, affirm, challenge you, and will be there with you in every season. Pulling down the walls we cross, fighting through the wars we lost, looking for the day when we have won. I don't have a lot of marriage advice, but I can say one thing. The covenant of marriage is beautiful and sacred. It reflects a deeper love that Jesus Christ has for his church, a love that is marked by no bounds, that's sacrificial, that chooses to love even when things get hard, and a love that is deeply rooted and never changing. And I pray that your marriage would strive to be so. Robin and Sarah, when you are going back to your home, the first thing you have to always do whenever you wake up and before you go back to bed, Grow in faith, overcome all doubts and questions, and deepen your relationship with God. Because faith and love is all you need. This whole world doesn't seem. Someday we could all be free. Yeah, we could change the world.